that as my right hip flexor is tight trying to loosen it up in between sets without negatively impacting my strength so do dynamic stretches you don't want to be doing static stretching holds before actually weight lifting or in between sets so that's going to make you weaker and actually in increase injury rate I'm taking these essential amino acid tablets. I got four for this workout, as, as much as I've been doing now, just four up to four tablets. Um, that may change in the past, but that's what I'm doing now. It's the only supplement I'm taking, like uh, workout wise. I'm not taking any pre workout. Um, only other supplements I'm really taking is like more so health related, longevity, like herbs and stuff like that. I'll pop the video up about that and then uh, say I'm spacing them out basically after each exercise. So after my squats, I'm taking the essential amino acid. Uh, after my lunges, I'm taking essential amino acid. Then after whatever that next exercise is, I'm taking amino acid. Then after calves, uh, I'm taking an amino acid.
All right, so now I'm getting into my lower body day stretches. I popped the full stretching routine up there. I'm just doing all things for the lower body, so no upper body stretching, including my lower back though. See, I get the ring up there from the, the plate on my head. Got my sweat on extra today. This is the first time in a while I've actually sweat during a lift. I think a lot of it had to do with those walking lunges, getting my heart rate, heart rate up more, and it's been a lot warmer here recently. Um, so super stoked I got more sweat in, because what does that mean? That means I get to have more salt on my meals, baby, and I've got uh, some ground beef, some organic ground beef I'm cooking for dinner, right, post-workout. So that's always, I love salt in my ground beef um, more than any other meat. I just it just goes so well with it so extra salt on that and maybe even some extra salt on my uh eggs as well which is just freaking next level dude for my last meal but um lo love that man Earn earning that salt baby earning that salt i'm gonna say to y'all see i'm not lifting anything crazy weight but y'all see the quads you know what i'm saying so um you don't have to lift super super heavy weights to be building muscle in general but you, you do want to be progressing you know what i mean you do want to try to get stronger, try to add more reps over time, but you don't necessarily have to be lifting 200, 300, 400 of pounds. Um, will I get there? Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep progressing as much as I possibly can, just you know, pro you know progress as I, I, I do. But you also notice, uh, for example, if high reps don't work, say for example, for your legs, you might need to try some lower reps or do some variety. I'm gonna see what works best for you. Um, but even I've tried experimented all around so you know i've been experimenting more recently with lower or lower reps slash heavier weights on this you know the bulk i'm cutting down from and uh yeah so just gonna keep experimenting but uh just i've said it since basically day one like don't need heavy weights to build muscle okay so um if you're concerned more with your joints not necessarily saying that heavy weights messes up your joints or anything but you can do it safely but there's a point where you go too heavy too often um you can go too heavy, it's bad for your joints, and you can go too heavy too often, it's bad for your joints too. But as long as you're keeping the form good generally, you know, and the feel good, keeping the tension on your muscles off your joints, you should be good to go.